On the track for the fourth race, two-year-old Colt uh, Pacers in Ohio Sire Stakes Championship leg, 100,000 on the line, one room and board. Leading this field in earnings by virtue of a four-race win streak that included wins at Toyota, Northfield, and Raceway with a mark of 155. He's owned by She and the Darby's Edge Stable. Joe Descala, Jr., trained by Virgil Morgan, Jr., Brad Miller drives. Coming into tonight's race after a victory, last out, the son of Stan Forever has been first or second in six of nine tries on the season. Home stand is the two, owned by Jim Smiley and Rick Guerin, the trainer, David Miller drives. With a career best 155 and three mile taken at Scioto earlier this season, this Kurt Sugg trainee has nearly $28,000 in the bank this year. This is Joe Mary, owned by Dean Davis, trained by Kurt Sugg, the driver, Ron Pierce. The son of Noble Land, Sam, closing in on $50,000 in earnings in his debut season with a mark of 155 and 2 at Scioto. Number 4 is First Foxy, owned by the White Creek Stable, trained by Charlie Beaver with Jeff Fout. He leads the field and wins this season with a 6 for 10 record. Number 5 is Tricky Tradition, owned by Michael Lowe, trained by Ty Loy with Walter Case Jr. at the lines. Prior to having his win streak snap last out, this son of Cam's magic trick had a three-race win streak that included a 156 and four mark at Toledo Raceway Park. Number six is Stinky Flynn, owned by James Cargo, and driven by trainer Jack Daly. Among the leaders in earnings in his division, he sports an impressive four for seven win record and a local mark of 155. Number seven, Meadowland Big Sam. Owned by the partnership of Metters, Hoovler, and Sudermeister, trained by Mike Metters. The driver is Jamie Dunlap. And coming into the championship final with a come from behind, Sire stakes victory and a 156 and 1 record taken in his career debut at Scioto Downs. Number 8 is Scooby Cantu, owned by FTF Incorporated, trained by Ron Potter, the driver Randy Tharps. Post time in 6. They are off. First, Foxy, quick to begin, and emerges from between horses to take a narrow lead, but Stinky Flynn is right there with fast early speed, and Stinky Flynn from three wide takes the lead as room and board drives through from the pylons, three wide as they head around the far turn, a gap of four lengths back, and we get home stand, followed by Joe Mary, tricky tradition, then it's Meadowland, Big Sam, and Scooby Can too is the early trailer, looks to be a fast pace up top as Stinky Flynn takes command in 26 and two. Passing the stands for the first time, Stinky Flynn leads it, by and room and board is up after the lead now and room and board looks to clear as they approach the wire for the first time uh, followed by first foxy back to third and david miller guides homestead on the outside he's powering up bringing tricky tradition along with him and meadowland big sam is third over in the developing flow next is joe mary shuffled back to second last and scooby can too trails the double tiered field that is half mile pole bound on the outside homestand and now takes an arrow lead in 56 and four very soft second quarter of 30 and two fifths and that's making it difficult for Homestand to clear the top. He has a neck in front, but he is parked out. Room and board is fighting right back, and Meadowland Big Sam is mounting a charge from the back of the pack. Stinky Flynn is locked up in the pocket fourth, followed by Tricky Tradition. He's getting backed out of it. He has no racing room. Three wide is Scooby Cantu, followed by First Foxy, and Joe Mary is last of the eight as they head on to three quarters. Room and board is taking pressure from Meadowland Big Sam in one, 25 and one, and Meadowland Big Sam from the outside takes a lead. Room and board is fighting back a gap of three lengths to Stinky Flynn, a fading homestand. Scooby Cantu is eight lengths out of it as they come down the stretch. Room and and board leans it, but Meadowland Big Sam won't go away. It's room and board by a length. Meadowland Big Sam is starting to flatten out in second. Coming to the wire, it's room and board scoring his fifth consecutive win in the final of the Ohio Sire Stakes two-year-old called Pace, defeating Meadowland Big Sam and first Foxy in one. Into the winner's circle four. for his fifth consecutive victory and his sixth in his career. It's room and board. A two-year-old son of Noble Land Sam out of Kelly's hat trick by Towner's big guy. Owned by Dennis Sheehan, the Darby's Edge Stable, and Joe Descala Jr. of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New York. Trained by Virgil Morgan Jr. and piloted to victory by Brett Miller. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections. Vice President of Scioto Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill. Accompanied by the Ohio Standard Bread Development Funds, Walter White. John Pavlock.
Thank you, Brett. Uh, not an uneventful mile. You uh, made the lead and then uh, tried to take a little breather on the front, and here comes uh, David. Yeah, yeah, that, that first quarter was uh, blistering 26 and 2. I was hoping I could get a slow second quarter, which I did. Uh, I fairly did get a slow second quarter, but I didn't get much of a breather, and my Colt dug in and raced super. He was pressured each and every step of the way after he got down to that second quarter, was 30 and 2. And in this class, that is a breather, but not the one you probably hoped for. Right, I was hoping for maybe a 31, but uh, he dug in. Nothing wrong with being honest. Tell us what happened in the uh, final turn. It looked like close quarters. Yeah, things got real close in the last turn, and uh, but there was no contact, and, and that was the outcome of the race. You've been with this one most of the summer. A chance at a triple crown if uh, you go in the Breeders' Championship at Delaware? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, and he's good on a half-mile track also. And a lifetime mark here tonight. But you weren't racing the clock. There was some competition coming at the end. Meadowland, Big Sam, let's not take anything away from him. There were some other good Colts in this race. You just turned him back. Right, right. There was, a, there was a few nice Colts in this race. And like I said, my Colt, he just dug in late and raced super. Brett, congratulations. Thank you. Brett Miller has the victory with room and board tonight. And as we said, a very eventful mile. Turning back two big challenges. And then I guess when you're three to five, they make you wait in the winner's circle for an additional 15 minutes until they put up the official sign. We have four in the books, and every one of them a slam-bang race tonight. More to come. 7-4, 37-20.